I want to thank our sponsor, My Green Mattress. And now it's My Green Mattress. I am so happy to have this. So much so, I can't even get off of it right now. I want to thank you all so much. I'm so grateful. Temperature regulated, beautiful mattress. It's got just enough spring. It has enough cushion. And here's the good part. It's actually good for you. It's eco-friendly, no chemicals, a wonderful little bounce. And uh, my kind of company because it's family owned. You get a warranty. Why else would you not get my green mattress no not my green mattress it'll be your green mattress but you go to my green mattress there are sponsors i'm so appreciative and this is something you're going to want to have too hey tim how are you good how are you i'm fantastic i uh i i have not had good sleep in a while i have big like insomnia issues you're gonna have to take care of my head now too because it, my head starts taking over but as far as the mattress goes my green mattress i just tried it for the first time last night a full night's sleep. Did you yeah. really? Well, one pee. I don't, it's an overshare, I know. But uh, but I did go back to sleep after the pee, which I normally don't. So, And I think I'm going to attribute it to the mattress uh, because it was different than the one I had been on. Um, that it just had a, a feel to it. And I, and people always hype up mattresses. It's this, it's that, and the other thing. But this actually was true. Tell me about... We're going to get to your life, by the way. That's our, our podcast is called Still Standing Up. We're going to get to your life and the turnarounds you've had in your life. But I do want to specifically talk about this mattress that I slept on last night. Now, I know it's hypo, hypoallergenic. It's, um, it's chemical-free. I love that you're a family business. I love that. I'm all about family businesses. I, those are the ones I support the most. I'm not a big corporation guy. Yeah. So, like, Serta, Mr. Serta is not going to be on my show. <laughs> so, this was, this was like, uh, the temperature thing, I think. Tell me about that specifically. The temperature, I couldn't, I think it does, it just, it adjusts to your own temperature. Is that what it does? Because there's no, like, outlet or anything. Well, how does that work? You know, it, all the materials um, breathe really well. And it's, and it, it sounds odd, but directly under the fabric, the, uh, organic cotton fabric is a layer of organic wool and it's about a half of an inch thick and you think of wool like well I'm only going to put that on if I'm cold but wool uh, regulates body temperature awesome it's a hollow fiber it actually takes the heat from your body dissipates it through the shaft of the fiber and it like it is the most comfortable uh, fiber to have next to you like even a wool shirt or wool socks in the summer they're wonderful Wow, no wonder I was counting sheep last night in my sleep. Oh. <laughs> Put me right to sleep. Was the, I was seeing the wool pass by me. But don't pull the wool over my eyes. I was really kind of surprised that, you know, when you hear things, you've had that happen in your life. You'll hear something. I buy things all the time late at night. I've had a lot of late night purchases, especially golf equipment. I have the same handicap I've always had. It's done no good whatsoever. But this was a case where I went, whoa, maybe I'm going to sleep better now because it really does make a difference what kind of mattress you want. And does it adjust to your body? Because So I, I let my daughter sleep on the other side of the bed. It's a nice California king. Uh, and she slept well as well. And we both went to sleep very early, early for us, because we're normally uh, rambunctious. I tell stories to my kids. I did read her a book at first. But it was really, uh, it, was, it was just so comfortable. Why is that? Why is it more, I know the wool, but also it adjusts to the body like really well where you just feel the comfort. What, what, why is that? You know, it, it, you got to forgive me. I'm a, I'm a total mattress nerd. And it's, <laughs> it started with this company when I was a teenager. And, you know, I was 25, I bought the company. Anyhow, fast forward to where we're at now, um, we actually make our own spring systems inside your bed are like it's a pocketed coiled spring system they call it a hybrid design so it has springs with organic latex for the padding organic wool for the comfort and everything but it's the spring system uh we have taken so much time to just calibrate that spring system to really work for people's bodies like it's i saw with the the major brands are producing and what they're offering like they they're not doing it for comfort and i'm like no they're they're doing it wrong so we actually manufacture our own spring systems but it's a huge game changer like it's 
it fits people. Like I build it for guys like you. Like I want you to be like, <laughs> pick up the next. Like thank you, I appreciate that. Hey, you know I've met Trekkies before. I've met computer nerds. I've never met a mattress nerd before. I've never met in my entire life. You might be the only one I will ever meet is a mattress nerd. Do you have a club? Do you have a club of mattress? Do you guys, you guys meet and you put you put a mattress out and you you all have kind of in a lotus position on the mattress. I mean, I've never met anyone like that. It's because you grew up with it, though. You were a teenager working for this company. You went, oh, this is really interesting to me. I loved it. Like, from day one, I felt it down in my shoes. I'm like, this is awesome. And, uh, yeah, I love the company ever since I started there. Well, it's a personal development podcast, and I'm glad you're actually one of our sponsors, and I really do appreciate that. I love that. And I hope you are here because of personal development being also part of living well and sleeping well. Sleeping well is very, very important to our personal development. So, I, I yes, I applaud you for that because a lot of people don't give uh, enough credit to, to the sleep. What I would do for a nine hours of sleep, I'm telling you, if I get to nine hours, I, I, will, I will buy your company from you. <laughs> I, I, I will relieve you of any debt or whatever it is. I swear, it's, 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 so, it's so important. But I want to hear on your personal journey. I, you said you worked as a teenager probably. I did the same thing. I worked for different companies and you're, you get, you're, you're going, what, what, what do I really gravitate towards? Now, I didn't gravitate towards cleaning pools. I didn't stick with that. I went with well, comedy. But now personal development and personal transformation. Have you ever had anything in your life where things weren't going well and you had a turnaround uh, that you can share with us? Well, that happens, I think, before lunch most days. <laughs> well, let's, let's, let's pick a day or an era in your life where you're, you're facing adversity, whatever that adversity was, if you could express that to us, if you would share it. And how you turned that around. I mean, this is really what this podcast is about. I really want to share experiences of other people, not only myself, other people and how they did it. And we're solution-oriented. So what, what happened with you? It, you know, all right. So I, I was a mattress maker as a young guy and then um, had an opportunity to buy the company when I was 25. My boss was retiring, which I loved him. If Kramer from Seinfeld had a dad, that would be the original owner. He was just, you knew it in the room. he couldn't have been more honest. And it's uh, just a wonderful man to work for. And um, right. anyhow, I purchased a company from him. And, uh, you know, at the closing, Mr. the original owner loaned me a third of the money. The bank loaned me a third. My parents loaned me a third. The bank was at 9% interest. Mr. Brixey, the original owner, my mom and dad, were at 8% interest. Yeah. <laughs> And it's, you know, it's like two in the afternoon. I've never done something like this before and I haven't eaten all day. And I go, and we finished. I go, mom, dad, do you want to go get something to eat? My dad goes, hell no. He goes, get back to work. You owe me a lot of money. <laughs> so from that day on, like, and I went right back to work. And I'm like, I can't, I can't fail. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah. I wouldn't skip a day of work. And, um, and you, you, you had to work this off and, and at those rate, at those rates, your rate of your your rate of return has to be at least ten percent just to make two percent or one percent. Yeah, you have to make that kind of a profit. So that's a built-in stressor. How do you deal with your stress? I mean, that's a financial stress, you, a big burden that we took on. A lot of burdens lead to illness for people, and par they're, they're paralyzed—not literally paralyzed, but paralyzed with their life. It's very difficult for people to take on that kind of. Uh, of stress and burden. So what did you do about that? What, what, what's your stress relief? I, I got to tell you that <clears throat> I feel fortunate. Like even today, like the, the people that work with, work with me in the factory, I call them warehouse athletes, like factory athletes. Like, and I think honestly, like the way that I dealt with the stress and I was so active, like building a mattress, it's kind of, bulk, it, it's hard work. Like it's a yeah. lot of, a lot of moving. Right. Yeah. And our app was like 1,400 square feet, you know, to make these mattresses. Like you're yeah. carrying on bales of cotton, you're carrying bales of, you know, the spring systems you're opening up and you're, you're just constantly hey. physical. <laughs> Believe me, us moving the mattress from the, getting it out of the box and moving it upstairs. We all, there's four of us that have to go, we're almost in traction just from one mattress 
four of us. And then I got one with scoliosis and one with a bad hip. I'm going, oh my God, I'm going to get a lawsuit here. I'm going to workman's comp. I'm going to have to up it because these are people that work with me. But we all need massages today. So I can't even imagine what it's like to mass produce these. And they're all handmade. Is that, is that how it works? Like we're literally carrying them like from table to even today. You're like you lift them up from a table. You go to the next table for the next step. Wow. And it's like even to look. But I think that that really helped me deal with stress because i was so wiped out physically at the end of the day who's got time to worry i'd fall asleep and i'd wake up the next day let's go back to it wow so so your your methodology is hard work and literally physical hard work as well yeah and it's wow. um, and they can't get that out of me like i'm 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 kind of a, i'm i'm a factory guy like i'm i'm a nuts and bolts guy like i yeah. i get, moving and I'm not like a big thinker or, you know like oh a marketing guy that just wants to sell you something that's not right. cool. um well I I'm gonna be on I'll be honest with you your authenticity and I'm reading some of the comments are like I'm ready to buy one of these things never heard of you before but that's awesome I'm gonna tell you why here's your tip you're authentic you're authentic and people read that and people need that these days. Authenticity is very underappreciated, undervalued. You just sharing your story is so real and true and people are going to gravitate towards that. And there are other people that like hype that watch the Kardashians and that's not for them. So you're not for them. But you know they want flash, they want to see the the Kardashians, you know, do a porn video on the on the mattress. So <laughs> but, but you but you, they're going, wow, this, this, this is a guy that like lives this, wants the best for all of us, and is pleased by it. And I think that that's a great thing. And by the way, speaking of authenticity, where's, where's that fake accent from? Midwest? Michigan? Chicago. Chicago. <laughs> I heard that Midwest, no question about that. Are you, you're not in Chicago. Are you in like a suburb, like Schaumburg or something like that? Where are you? Out of Schaumburg. We're in um, LaGrange. So wow. kind of north of how us, about, but yes. How, how about that? How about I guess that one? Jeez, Nostradamus of, of, of I'm the Rand McNally of, of predictions. Uh, first, how do you know Schomburg? Are you, you know, from there? Well, no, I'm from Philadelphia, but love Chicago, always have. I rooted for the Cubs when they finally won. I mean, because we share misery. <laughs> you got your misery and we have our misery in Philadelphia. We both share an edge. Even though yours doesn't sound as edgy as ours does, our accent is much edgier than your little sh Chicago. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a mattress nerd. Uh, but it's, uh, I know it because the improv is there, the sh at the improv. They call it the Chicago Improv, but it's in Schaumburg. And I work there, and I love bringing comedy to your area. It's great people. And, you know, and I can tell you're a great guy, only knowing you a few minutes. But these mattresses are a reflection of you. And again... Same with comedy. Is my comedy is a reflection of me. And whatever someone does, and if they can listen to this advice, have a purpose, have a vision, and have character and integrity. It comes through, and that's why I think, you know, to tell you the truth, I think that's why so many people come back to see me. It's still packed venues all over the world, and I think it's because they, they get this guy. And I think they're buying your mattress because they get you as a, the mattress is a reflection. It's green friendly, it's chemical free, the springs, you've developed this spring that's like, I, I, did you work with engineers on something like this? All right, can I tell you that story? Uh, no, you can't, no, yeah, no. <laughs> of course you can. I, I want all the stories that lead to t teaching people through your experience what they can, how they can learn, not to make a mattress, but to make a life, make a life that's really fulfilling and purpose-filled. But go ahead. And it, so it's all about relationships, right? In life, yeah. like, like you know. And anyhow, so a kid that used to work for me, I used to have high school and college students help me after school. Uh, they would deliver local mattresses for me. They'd help unload trucks or load trucks. What I like about the young guys, they don't know it's not supposed to be done. Like, no, no, we can unload all this on our shoulder, no problem. And they're okay, they go along with the program. But anyhow, I had one young guy working for me, Alex, and Alex was so sharp, and um, he went to college, and he would work for me part-time summers and winters while he's in college, and he became an engineer. After he finished school, 
Um, he's like, Tim, you know, I'm going to go get an engineering job. So he leaves, and he made high-speed packaging machines for, like, you know, like Splenda or, like, the sugar packets or the pouches you put in your washing machine. He made the machines that did all that. Germany was buying this guy's machines. He was so good. He was, like, probably the best in the world. Wow. And he did that for 15 years. And he goes, and he would help me now and then. I'd be like, Alex, you know, I got this idea. Can you help me? Um, so we stayed good friends, and anyhow. Um, I mean, do you, do you sit around with a, a drawing board and a, a pen? or a, I mean, how does, how does that work? You're sketching things out? or Yeah, I, I tell Alex, I'm like, I want to I make our own spring system. And he's like, I'll do it. And he goes, I'm, they're burning me out. They, you know, I'm out of the country more than I am in the country. So the kid's brilliant. We get a spring making. Now, hang, hang on one second. Did you hire him away? Because a lot of people do that. I just watched a, I just watched a, a movie about um, the BlackBerry, and this guy goes, "I'm taking you," and he would like triple, quadruple their salary. He took all these MVPs from different companies and just poached them. He took them. Now, did you take this person from the working with the German company, and you said, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay you, come and develop this spring with me." Well, here's what he said. He goes, listen, if you match what I'm making now because I can't take the pressure I have, I'd rather work for you again, I'll work for you. And I'm like, wonderful. Come on. You're, you know, wow. so he, so now Alex, so he's working on this spring, but we keep laying the, the spring systems out. We'd finish like a bet and I would get on it and I'm like, no, this isn't it. We got to do this, this and this. Okay. This is how I can tune it in. But he, they kept calling me the calibrated ass. They're like, bring the calibrated ass over here to try this new model. <laughs> but I, the calibrated ass. <laughs> I've heard mattress, mattress nerd and calibrated ass. These are all new terms for me today. This is a learning experience. So, like, but learn, working with customers for all these years and hearing every comment and hearing every name, like, this hurts, that hurts. And I'm always like, well, and I can look at people now. Like, if you stand up straight with no coat on, I'll tell you how you sleep, whether you're stomach back or side sleeper, just by looking at your body. And wow. it, I've gotten so good at this. But I lay in these spring systems or I lay in these completed beds. Nope, this is what we got to do. We got to change this area, this area. And it, we kept tuning it and tuning it to where now guys like you are like, this thing's wonderful. You know, it's like, I yeah. love it. And it's uh, so. I that's, think that's. I think it'll allow me to sleep the way I'm supposed to sleep because I, I, I it's funny you should say it. I have a healer that I go to for 25 years. He's unbelievable. And he does the same thing. He'll tell you, oh, you're a stomach sleeper, which many people are. And I think, according to him, not a good way to go. Yet I, it's a very hard habit to change. It's almost like in another life, someone uh, killed me with a javelin and I'm trying to protect myself. I don't know what it is. I've tried to analyze this and I've had some dreams about it, but, but I'm a stomach guy. And I, but yesterday I did not. I was more side sleeping, which was good, and a little bit of back. When, especially when I was reading to my daughter, I was reading from my back, and she was, you know, cuddled up with me. It was awesome. In our new mattress, that by the way, there's something that was really, like, sh sh shocking to me, but not like huge shock. But it was like it came rolled up in a in a in a you know like this burrito in in plastic, a lot of plastic. We had a keep cutting through that i was like a <laughs> it's like in the jungle with a machete trying to get this plastic off and once it came off it just came alive it was like and i could have sworn i heard air yes was it was it filling up with i, I, I it, there was no pump i'm used to being the pump guy you know is whenever we go to the shore or something hey dad here you go blow this raft up I'm, I'm the raft king and i even blow up a birth pool for my one son so i'm good at that i'm good at that but i was thinking i have to do that with this i'm almost like it just it became this alive thing what is that it when we package it like there's a big it's called a tamper like when it goes through the packaging machine this big plate comes down and squishes that mattress down to like nothing but it pushes all the air out of it and then it vacuum seals it and then rolls it up so then when you <laughs> it, like you break the vacuum seal you know the and it then it just is sucking in to, to get to its normal height so I, I i is this something you and the engineer created the guy you stole from germany <laughs> <laughs> so it no not the packaging machine just the spring machine so the packaging machine is kind of uh, you know uh, 
that's a different that's a different person you poached <laughs> you, you got the packaging person from doritos or something <laughs> something with it air pack it was unbelievable we, we were like a little shocked because we, first of all we thought it would take days for the thing to really unfold but it was pretty instantaneous to tell you the truth and it had been in my living room for a while once people felt how heavy it was i was having no volunteers to help me i had to literally pay people to, to get this thing out but man it was i i just couldn't believe it i was hearing air but it's not an air mattress that was what was confusing there's no air going in it is that right like you know the space like where the coils are like if you can picture a big spring like it you know there's air between there but it was all pushed out when it went in that the machine oh i see so it's just naturally filling with air of those pieces that's amazing and how and how how does it construct it with the, the 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 temperature thing is that just the wool or is there something else that's adjusting to my temperature i didn't sweat last night either which i usually have night sweats you know and i i hope and and i give you permission to keep sleeping this way for the rest of your life like just sleep great okay yeah. um but Thank it's you. the what's nice about the bed is that the padding layer that's in there is a uh, well, it's an organic latex. And you think of latex as being, well, I'm putting on a latex glove or I'm putting on a, a bandage or whatever. But organic latex, it has the same proteins as like a banana, a kiwi. So you won't have a reaction to it. 99.9% .9 of people with organic latex have no trouble with it. Where synthetic latex, people have allergies or whatever. But your bed is organic latex in it. But the beautiful part about it, organic latex in the way that it's made it's an open celled like material so like it breathes really well like it's not a closed cell foam to where mm -hmm. it becomes a membrane under your body when it compresses it's not at all like that it still breathes really well so like air circulation is wonderful uh in combination with the wool is awesome so like it, it really regulates body temperature and you won't you won't have and you and you have tufted buttons. <laughs> they're, they're, they look like they're hand crafted. It looks like it looks like a gift. It looks like the, I have several gifts on my bed. These buttons are all throughout. They're just uh, they're these like gentle tufts. I guess that's how you could describe it. I'm doing my best. I'm not a mattress expert by any chance. As a matter of fact, I, I've had the same mattress until yesterday for uh, children. I have a lot of children conceived on this mattress. A lot of, uh, you know, the mattress has been around. It's been around. It's no longer. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, anybody wants my mattress, by the way, it's, there's, it's some magic in there. If you want to conceive, if you're having a hard time conceiving, it's worked for me. I even have an adopted child that slept on this mattress, so it works in every different way. But uh, I, what I want to know about is your life, have you had any difficulties or struggles in your life where you had to turn something around? Like, you, you, you know, pains that have happened or, you know, losing, losing a loved one or, or, or grief or, you know, just something financially. As something that happened where you went, whoa, man, this sucks and I got to do something about it because I want my my mental, physical, spiritual state to be good because you have employees that you have to be there for and sometimes I'm a boss too of, of a number of, and it's really tough to like, you know, show that vulnerability sometimes or you're going through something. You want to have it together for them. Have you ever faced anything like that? Oh God, all the time. And it's, um, and sometimes you just think like, you know, I don't know if I'm the guy, like, you know, the leader, but sometimes it takes those secondary people in your life, not secondary, but someone that's, that's not you. That's, you know, sort of, yeah. Yeah, that just steps in and you're like, man, did that just step in in a wonderful time? Like things always happen like that to people, right? Like when you mm -hmm. think that first, all of a sudden something like comes along and it's like, well, I didn't see that coming, but that was the best thing that could have happened. And, yeah. uh, but it, you know, like with work all the time, like, you know, some days are harder than others. Everybody knows that, right? Um, but that maybe the person you're working alongside just steps it up or does something that you're like, and it made all the difference in the world. And it's, uh, but that happens all the time. Is there something specific that I can think of? Mm. I, I mean, you know, divorce or a breakup or 
something financially that happened or uh, you know some the deliveries that didn't you know the all of a sudden the, I'm sure I'm, I'm sure during the pandemic your supply chain was you know uh compromised from what i heard i mean it was they, they left the ships out at sea from what i hear but maybe you have all american products and that wasn't the case but oh it's so some of the stuff does come like a wool the organic wool the organic cotton that we use does come from overseas and it, it was a bear to get but it's i'll tell you so why am i talking about wool and a mattress and organic latex and all this stuff that's organic it in oh 2006 um my second daughter Emily was born and she had she had uh, sensitivity she was allergic to everything in the world even as an infant like she was so uncomfortable in her own skin wow. and the, and she goes will you make her an organic crib mattress and at that time I'm just a local mattress maker I was just making them locally for the neighbor you know what I mean for the surrounding area and I'm like you know what I would make organic beds like onesies, twosies through the 1990s, early 2000s. The hippies would come in, hey, I need organic, you know, and I would source the material, make it. So when my wife said, make her an organic crib mattress, like we got to start cleaning up the toxins in her life, and I'm like, oh, that's a great idea. So I sourced all the materials. It was a beautiful crib mattress, and we call it the Emily. It's actually on our website. <clears throat> and once they've developed the Emily crib mattress. You know, my wife and I are talking, we're like, we're not the only family that has chemical sensitivity. Why don't we make a product line, you know, that's all natural and organic? And right at that time, right at that time, the government said you have to add these new chemicals to the mattresses and the furniture to make them pass this new fire testing. They're proven to be cancer-causing. The chemicals that, we, that most manufacturers put in today, uh, it's brutal. Uh, wow. It's really bad news, and it was like perfect. It was the perfect storm, right? So all these chemicals are being introduced, and I'm like, wait a minute, we can pass the fire testing. You know why the wool is under the fabric? Wool is a natural fire barrier. Years ago, firemen's coats were made out of wool. It won't burn. Wow. And we passed the fire testing with a certified organic fiber that breathes so well that regulates temperature, it's wonderful. And it makes the mattress last longer. It's amazing. <laughs> so we make it, but that's how we got going with the organic. It's, it's such an example of, of good character, inspiring, having integrity, inspiring a solution that's not based on greed, government policies that are all, they're bribed. It, it, if you follow the, the money, it's almost every time. When there's a when there's a mandate, when there's a, a switch, and you know something you have to, like those additives and things like that, it's it's unbelievable how we don't notice it. And I'm really happy that somebody's courageous enough like you to go, okay, I'm not going to disobey the law, but I'm going to create something that's based on inspiration out of a need. And that's really a lot of what you know I like to teach, and why we have this is. When we face something in life, you got the choices. You can go the easy way. The easy way would just be comply, right? You could have complied with them and say, I'm going to add these chemicals. Or you could come up with something that's sustainable, scalable, usable, environmentally friendly, friendly to our bodies, friendly to our souls. I mean, this is what, this is why I have you on the show is that's exactly what I'm looking for. Let's offer solutions, everyone, where you take that pause. You had to take a pause with fear, by the way, right? You had tremendous fear, I'm sure. And, it, and believe me, all the testing, because I've heard that wool can pass. Like, I, I, I've heard that wool was a, for fireman's coats. I'm like, it's got to be able to pass the fire test. And it took me weeks and weeks. So, like, I would burn little samples, like, behind my shop. Like, I, would, I got so good at this. Like, I would start burning them, and I'd have a stopwatch, and I'd see how fast that fire would travel. Mm -hmm. like this. And finally, I switched my sewing style and the way that I quilted it, and I'm like, I, I got it. I can pass this thing. And I brought it to the testing lab. I got my certification, you know, that we passed. I'm like, hee haw, game on. You know, I was like one of the first guys to do it. And, um, but it's, yeah, it is out of a need. And it's, uh, you know, if you could take a negative and turn it into a positive. That's what you did, yeah. And by the way, for all the people out there that find themselves to be really hot lovers, this is perfect to, to bring
bring down the temperature, okay? You might you don't want to set any fires there, love makers. Because you know I'm known as the love master, baby, yeah. My ladies, when I'm done, they need asbestos panty, baby. <laughs> so I, yeah, I, that's where Love Master goes. But it, yes, that is, that is what goes on on the bed as well. Let's talk about that. Not that I have any experience. Well, with your mattress, I've only had it one day. But uh, I haven't had an experience on a mattress in a while, personally. So I can't wait for that. I would imagine it feels pretty good on the tush or your knees or whatever it is. Also, from what I saw. Elbows. Um, but anyhow, it's... Yeah, the mattresses we build, like, you know, I really do, like, all right, so you have children. Like, have you ever made them dinner, and then they wrinkle their nose? But you kind of worked hard on the dinner, and you made something that you thought would be really special for them. Yeah. And then they, and it kind of hurts your feelings, right? Like, and that kind of old school, like, well, you're going to have to eat it, or, you know, that's all you're going to Yeah, 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 <laughs> I'm that way, too, yeah. <laughs> but it's like, it, how it, how you feel like when you hear that or you see that look on their face when they don't like it. Like if I see a customer that doesn't like my bed or hear that they are not happy, I feel that way. But what I'm doing is I'm like, all right, what are we going to do to solve this for you? Like what hurts on you? Like if I know what bothers them about the bed, I can resolve it. You know what I mean? And it's like, that's right. That I know the product so well and I have the ability to be able to, you know, change things up to fit, to fit somebody's, it's pretty nice option too. It, it never happens to you. It always happens for you. I'm, and I'm glad that's your, your mindset. Uh, I think this is another issue in our society is the mindset needs a reset. And most people don't reset. They just keep going. They keep repeating. They repeat the same behavior, which is insanity. That's the definition of insanity. They expect a different result. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Lather, rinse, repeat. It's not going to have any evolution to that. No solution. And no evolution will take place if you stay the same and just listen to people's rules. And we have to be guided by some inner source. Do you have something that you answer to on your insides? Do you have a, a practice? you have that keeps you centered and in integrity uh, do you have anything like that that goes on for you not that I, not that I have like a like an habitual thing like you know um, I do say prayer every day but um, well no but no but that's that's what I'm talking about that's a you say every day that's pretty habitual you know yeah. and every day for good, yeah it, but you know what I've learned you know what I've the biggest thing that I've learned in life, and I tell people, and and I swear anybody can change their mood, but it takes some work and a little bit of time. It's walking. Like the bottom of your feet, you know how like the, the palm of your hand is soft, and you get that soft spot on that arch of your foot there? They say that by walking, like you put that pressure on that arch, and it pushes the blood, like through your, and it goes right to your brain immediately when you step, wow. step, step. Mm. We get long legs for a reason. If people would just walk two miles, one mile, whatever it is, one block, I don't care, just walk every day and just make it a little longer, make it a little longer. But that clear yeah. so much up here, but like being on your feet, that, and I think like most days I'm, I'm so positive because it's, I'm on my feet all the time. You know what I mean? That's interesting. I had never heard it. I, I obviously hear you should go for a walk, clears your head. I've heard that before. I never heard it. Uh, in the, in those terms where it, it immediately goes it goes to your head and that's it's interesting it's a great concept so now even more even more reason to walk or run or when I was a teenager and I worked at the mattress factory there was a guy who and at that time he looked like he was from Vietnam like he had some he looked like a PS whatever you know he, he had some problems he, he'd always walk past the shop and we'd be walking out to load our delivery truck or whatever. And I was scared of him. Like, it was kind of a, not a great neighborhood that we were in. And I was always scared of this guy. Like, I'd always look, but he walked every day. And we'd be on, like, local deliveries. And um, I, we'd see him at different different parts, you know, a couple miles away from there. But he was always walking. But about three, four years later, the guy looked like he's ready to get on the train and go downtown Chicago and get go to his office job. Like, and I'm like, he walked all those problems right off of his plate. I'm like, mm -hmm. every and I think he walked it out. Yeah. 
Uh, we're having a hard time with the internet connection. It's a bummer because I'm really digging what you're saying, but uh, on, I think it's on your side. Yeah, I love our society. We're so filled with blame. It's like, it's not me. I have full, I have full bars. <laughs> it's so funny, but, but it, uh, we, we, we've come down to that with technology. It's like, uh, I just wish that we could all have much more connection like we did in neighborhoods and we were growing up. That was so important. I think that was a big problem during the pandemic was, oh, stay inside. Don't go outside. Don't connect with me. Don't walk. Don't connect with your brain to just take in what we're telling you. We're going to give you the death counts and all the fear. Watch the news. Watch this. We're going to tell you exactly what to do. And it's how unfortunate it takes us away from our own instincts, our own inspiration. And I think that's what I really applaud you most. Everything you've done in your life, you've done through inspiration, in spiritus. You, you went inside, and, it, and that delivered all of these wonderful things. And that's why I really, I really dig people like that. And I, and I think that message is clear from you, even though you're not trying to bombard us with it. But that's a reflection of your mattress. The mattress I got was truly unique. I mean, there's no mattress I've ever seen. I've never even seen a mattress that was rolled up before unless it was a, meant for camping, you know, but this thing was meant for my bed. I have one more question for you. And again, I, I could go on forever, but the, uh, the reception is, is difficult, so it's hard to, hard to hear you. I, I have a mattress pad that I had on the other one. I have a feeling I don't need that anymore. Uh, is that true? Do I not need this mattress pad on top of, of your beautiful padded mattress? You probably don't, um, but sometimes, like, um, especially, like, uh, women are kind of hard to, can you hear me okay, or is it breaking up still? Yeah, it's it's breaking up. It's like, do you, I, you're too young to remember Max Headroom. It's kind of Max Headroom-ish. It's like skipping a little bit, but, uh, yeah, it's unfortunate. You, you were clear before, but now you've been, you've been going out, and I think some of the people are leaving our beautiful conversation because I don't think that we can hear you as much as I'd love to. You, you freeze up a little bit and... Okay. You know. Yeah. Um, I gotta tell you, it's, I really love talking to you. I'd love to be on your show again. If you could ever have me again, I'd love it. Uh, I would absolutely love... So let's, let's do that. Let's do that and make sure... Uh, you know, you're making all this money now. You gotta put it towards your internet connection. <laughs> so, <laughs> so. I, I think, uh, yeah, if you put it towards that, we can have have a free flow of conversation. Of course, I'd love to meet you in person as well when I come to Schaumburg. And um, maybe we'll bring one of the mattresses on the, on the, onto the stage, and I'll just do my show from, from the mattress. <laughs> Once upon a time on my mattress. Well, listen, go, anybody watching this, just listen to me when I tell you. You know, you know, obviously somebody's promoting their own business. You don't listen to as much. Listen to me when I tell you. My green mattress is just, it's truly unique. I think it's mygreenmattress.com. Am I right about that? Is it, That's where they go, and you can get them anywhere. You can send it to them. Uh, the shipping must be expensive because that's, these are really heavy. But it's worth it. It's one of these things that's worth it. People don't put enough value into the mattress because it makes you sleep which makes you perform better. I'm not talking about sexually, but maybe that's the case too. We'll see. <laughs> the jury's out on that. Uh, but it's something that was so valuable to us, but we kind of like dismiss it because our, you know, our world is built upon like quick fixes, you know, quick drugs and quick applications and things like this. Here's a quick fix. This is a, a fix that's every day for the next, there's a warranty and a guarantee, right? How long does that last? A 20, uh, 20 year guarantee or 20 year warranty, but zero to 10, 100% warranty. Like you have any problems and then it's prorated 10 to 20, but it's, you should get at least years out of the bed. That's amazing. Well, that's how much Tim believes in his product. And I think he should because this really is incredible. Well, I'm looking forward to more, more journeys on my mattress. <laughs> I get back from walking. I'm going to walk more now. Well, listen, real pleasure hanging with you here, and I hope that we do have a better internet next time. And um, and I'll, I'll I'll actually send you some videos of me on the mattress. I think we actually have one of me. I fell asleep right away, so it's good stuff. I appreciate you. Hope you had a good hope you had a good time today. And uh, listen, everybody, please check. I have a oh, actually, we have something. You should check this out. By the way, I coach 
how you can have more fun in your life because I think you might be able to use this Tim I coach people how to be funnier themselves and how to have more fun and I have a coaching program we've already done it so you can't do it live although there will be one coming up but we have the 12 days of Christmas uh, going on right now 50% off these modules that are built and they're built for you it teaches everyone skills of life of how to be more inspired how to be more creative how you can pick apart or peel apart these things that we already have inside of us but we push them down through conditioning of life through teachers and peers and parents and everything else I'm here to bring out the authentic you that is meant to be love light and levity we are all meant to be that but then we get all programmed I'm gonna deprogram you by working this program it's uh, if you go to my my uh, my page uh oh we, can, we went out again what happened there <laughs> Uh oh can you hear me yes or no no oh geez all right anyway um, we'll 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 see you all next time I don't know what's going on here but uh, oh there we go hey I appreciate you being here my green mattress Tim Masters I appreciate you and uh, I and all of you remember you can go to craigshoemaker.com if you want to get those modules and just uh, feed yourself that feed your, while, while you're on your bed while you're on your new mattress <laughs> so enjoy your lives okay